Hi Sagittarius, it's Power Light Tarot coming at you with the reading. Today we have some kind of wonderful reading here. We do, Sagittarius. And uh mm -hmm. And we start here, Sagittarius, with the Knight of Pentacles, the Page of Wands, and the World card. Now, uh, you know, interesting how they made this this uh dancer, her boobs bigger in this uh deck. I mean, you know, I swear to heaven, because you know, see that card all the time and her boobs are never that big, all right? <laughs> uh, yeah, maybe it's about somebody who likes you because you have big boobs. I don't think so, right? It's funny, though. Uh, I just noticed that. I'm like, what the hell? Stop changing stuff. This is kind of a funny deck anyway, and this is why I picked this deck. It's called the Double double Arcana or something like that, but uh, it's a funny funny deck, And uh, but you know, I chose these three cards randomly, and none of them are funny except her boobs maybe, but you know, the Knight of Pentacles, Page of Wands, and the World card, somebody wants a renewal with you, it's very clear here, right, I was trying to have fun with these cards, and it just came out regular cards, right, I'm like, what, so uh, the, the mind is here, uh, Sagittarius, and whoever this is, their mind is on fire, uh, and you, if you see this, this person's eye is some type of a mechanical screw, uh, and you know, parts of these neurons or whatever, parts of your person's head and their brain are uh, burning like little cigarettes here. And it's a really unhappy look. If you could see the card, it, you know, a picture uh, paints a, a thousand words for sure. And so this person's having a really hard time. <coughs> this card talks about fear and confusion and um, uh, just, you know, horrible, kind of horrible things. Let's see what they say about that, because I'm a little bit curious about that. Uh, if you can see the cards, pretty obvious, but uh, these people get real deep. Let's see what they say about the mind, Cap uh, Sagittarius. And, uh, <coughs> mm -hmm. yeah, these people are too deep. For sure they are. <coughs> this is the Page of Swords. <coughs> All right. Okay, this person wants to talk to you. And I know this for a fact, because we have Talking Stick. Yes, Sagittarius, talking stick. And so here's the mind, the page. I didn't know he was the page of swords. Uh, he looks, you know, <coughs> he looks older for the page of swords, but that's okay because uh, he's having a hard time in his mind. He is, and sometimes the page of swords does. Let's see what it says. And uh, yeah, we have, this is the situation of your head. I see cycle handles and petals and strange things that you have gathered from everywhere. Such a small head and no space to live in. Mm -hmm. It talks about this person having rubbish in their head and their head just spins around like these kind of mechanical, uh, you know, mechanical cycles or handles, right? And this is what happens when we forget that the mind is meant to be a servant. Yes. And start to allow it to run our lives. Yeah, this is talking about somebody here who I believe right off the bat who had a lower consciousness and um, they weren't thinking about you in the right way or they didn't judge you right or just some type of issues with their mind and their judgment, I believe. Mm -hmm. When the mind is meant to be a servant and start to allow it to run your life. Okay, start to allow it. Like... This is like talks about, you know, when you kind of, when you say affirmations and you tell your mind like nice things, like you're worthy of things, right? That's uh, part of like healing and, but the whole thing, all these success people talk about, <coughs> you are your thoughts, like you create your life with your thoughts. So if you don't have thoughts of goals or you know, or you don't have uh, your thoughts about yourself or, you know, you're just judging and criticizing yourself. In other words, you either become your own self coach, your own uh, coach or your critic. So once you become your critic or, <coughs> or you're not trusting your intuition, you know, you let your mind kind of take control. Yeah. I feel like somebody was on autopilot here. The head is filled with mechanisms. The mouth is ranting and raving. And the whole surrounding atmosphere is being polluted by this factory of arguments and opinions. Your person might, they could have, they could be fighting with somebody possibly. But wait, you say the mind is what makes us human. It's the source of all progress, all great truths. If you believe that, try an experiment. Go into your room, shut the door, turn on a tape recorder 
and give yourself total permission to say whatever is on your mind. If you really allow it to all come out without any censorship or editing, you'll be amazed on the amount of rubbish that comes spewing forth. The page of clouds or swords is telling you that somebody somewhere is stuck in a head trip. Take a look and make sure it isn't you. This is your person who was stuck with kind of ego. That's how the reading is uh, uh, taking form here. It does seem like that. Here uh, is the success card. They want success with you, Sagittarius, right? I feel like they do. The affluence card is here. They have some money. Yeah, they do. Oh, good. Uh, don't come, you know. Don't come if we can't really go out anywhere and you're, you don't have any money. Yeah, please don't show up. At least, you know, over here, right? <laughs> we have the psychic card. They're trusting their intuition now. This mind card could have been a lower consciousness where they didn't, you know, they didn't trust their intuition. They didn't trust their judgment. They were in a lower consciousness and uh, just kind of you know, uh, dealing with life every day, uh, maybe with their opinions, maybe with their opinions of you, right? Yeah. I feel like this person though, with this mind card, with the last little blurb here, mm -hmm, kind of, there's a, there's a way more to read here, but I'm not going to, I'm not going to read it all. It says, take a look and make sure it isn't you. Somebody could be in a head, in a stuck in a head trip. I feel like this person was, and I don't feel like they are anymore, uh, Sagittarius. Here's the psychic card. And uh, let's have a look at what they say there. I mean, we, we know what it is, but let's see what their version is here. This lady here who is a, uh, I think she's a clairvoyant. Let's see here. Mm -hmm. yeah, amongst other things, most likely here. Uh, and uh, intuition, empathic gifts, psychic visions, prophecy. Mm -hmm. Prophecy is making them come true, right? Or predicting and powerful dreaming are present. You now have access to a greater wisdom that is beyond what the human eye can see. Yeah, this person woke up, uh, Sagittarius, and here they were before. A garbled mind, right? Yeah, maybe, you know, maybe they told themselves that you were no good or just... It's poor judgment, I mean, is kind of... This, this reading, we don't have enough time to kind of really get down on it, right? Or get into it. Mm -hmm. This is a time of great awakening. You see new psychic abilities and gifts come to you now. See over here, Sagittarius, they, uh, they didn't have any psychic gifts or they didn't trust them, right? They have them, but people don't trust them, right? And see the sacredness in your visions. Pay attention to your dreams and the symbols that are repeating as messages. Meditate on this symbol when you want to expand your healing creative dreaming and psychic abilities. That's what they're doing here. This person wants to build with you with the affluence card, right? Like a financial, you know, they want to build. They want you guys to, you know, you both work and put your money together or run your business or whatever you're doing, right? Uh, let's see what else it says here. And wealth in all forms is available to you now. You are rich on all accounts. Drawing this card invites you to feel the abundant flow of having that all you need on the material and spiritual planes, both. Wow. See, this person really has awakened, right? Because it is spiritual and uh, financial abundance, basically. And here's the nature spirit card. And it shows up here. Uh, here it is in the psychic deck. And here it is in the native spirit, which is, you know, uh, the Cherokee, basically. Uh, the Cherokee divination, right? But it's the same exact card. This nature spirits card next to the psychic card, this person knows, Sagittarius, that they, that being with you, they're really frustrated and they want to come, but they're going to be sick if they're not. Yeah, it's really that. It's like right next to the psychic uh, card here, they know that you bring them, they have grown here and they know that you have brought them or whatever has happened has propelled them to awaken. And so the nature spirits card uh, down here, it talks about somebody who kind of needs to get out into nature, but, or you could be, be sick. And here she is like this tree lady and she's sick, right? She looks like she's sick, uh, you know, a little bit and like unhappy and sick. But this person knows that they belong with you. And I feel like they've been waiting for this for so long or putting it off or fearful or something that I feel like they are like not feeling good. They could have been in the house a lot too. 
but with the psychic card next to it, they understand here that I feel like you guys are meant to be. And if they can't be with you or if they don't come forward and try that, they're going to be sick, like stress, heart problems or something like that. Yeah, because you, you know, if you wish for something really hard for a long time and you are not going toward it to get it, uh, you are <clears throat> basically kind of telling yourself that you're a loser, kind of. And <clears throat> maybe that's not uh, the, the right way to put it, but <clears throat> your, your body knows, your mind knows when you really want something and when you're not doing it, when you're making excuses. So once you make excuses in your life, right there, you're telling yourself, that I don't have courage, I don't have this, I don't do that, uh, I'm lagging, I'm, uh, I'm, you know, I'm kind of a low vibrator. It's kind of like that, right? And so, because you know, when you, like you start to doubt yourself even more because you have not done what you were supposed to do or what you wanted to do or what your dream is. It is totally like that, right? So, and I don't know if people really understand that right? When you want something and you don't go reach for it and you've wanted it for a long time and you know that's, you're, you're good at it, you're natural. Uh, if you don't do it for whatever reason that you are giving your body and your mind a message that you're not good enough or that you're lazy or that w all of it, because you're telling her you didn't do it, right? You're, you either have fear or you're lazy or something like that. But uh, yeah, I mean, it's a real trip here, your mind. And this card is saying it right here, right? And so this psychic awakening. So here, uh, Cap Sagittarius, the talking stick, they want to talk to you. They do. And they hope you're not going to hit them with the stick. That's what they go, God, Sagittarius, right? And so uh, crossing them is the nature spirits card out of this deck. <coughs> and answering the call is here. So maybe you want to call them. This person is answering the call of life. That's what I was just trying to explain with all those words. You know, you're like, God, Denise, you have too many words, right? Mm -hmm. So let's see what we have. This is going to be a very cool reading. Uh, yes, it is, right? Yeah, we can already tell we're psychic. <laughs> that, uh, that one thing doesn't make us psychic, no. Uh, but we are in some level. Yeah, we are. Let's see what we have, uh, Sagittarius. And so is your person. Yeah, and so are you. Because that could be you right there too, right? For sure. So the readings can be switched in case you're new here. Let's see what we got for Sagittarius, please. And we have the five of wands. Now in this deck, it talks about working things out. Yes, it does. <coughs> Eight of wands, change, growth, progress. Yeah, here's the gecko here. And he's there for protection. This is protected by the divine. And so here are all the sprouts. This could be them contacting you. Sometimes the eight of wands is communication. Yeah. I don't know how they made that up because wands, you know, are typically not communication, you know, unless they're bringing you smoke signals, Sagittarius, but you know, um, you know, these are the, the psychic, the tarot queen. So, you know, I usually don't call it out there, but in this, in this deck and this reading with a talking stick and answering the call, pretty much this person's coming here to work things out with you. And they're hoping there's going to be change and sudden movement. I'm pretty sure the emperor is showing up here. He is. He's holding the slain lamb. Yeah. And the two of wands, this shows up in the past in this deck. This is, let's move the camera. You guys in this deck, uh, Sagittarius, this is work underway. And this sits in the past. This person's already on their way. I feel like they were too busy. Uh, they were busy planning exactly what to say. Yeah. Please don't beat me with the stick, Sagittarius, please. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And don't, you know, don't hit me with a bottle here. Cause you know, my, might end up looking like this card here. <laughs> yeah. And, uh, mm -hmm. and so this person thinks that you guys can be successful. That's why we have the success card next to the mind card. I feel like next to this garbled mind, I feel like what this means is that your person, uh, like they had no clue in the past that you were the one that was going to be like, that you're the one, that you're the best person for them. And now they know that. And so they had to wake up. I feel like they had to suffer here. I feel like they did. 
And I feel like with this nature spirits over here, I feel like this person here knows here that I feel like they've been waiting for a long time because there's so much fear and kind of awakening here and this didn't happen overnight. And so they are so frustrated. I feel like they're anxious and they're feeling unhealthy. I feel like in a way this is what's going on. And so we have the two of cups, the seven of cups, the page of wands again. The Three of Cups. Your hopes and fears. Five of Swords. This is loss. You're fearing loss. Unless you're hoping that they'll accept a loss in their life. <clears throat> well, they have accepted some type of a loss, kind of. It's like <clears throat> because of this powerful realization that, uh, that they were like, like they had no self-awareness here. When we say the higher consciousness, uh, much of it has to just do with awareness, right? And the full card is in the outcome. So here, Sagittarius, coming into play is the emperor. He has slain the lamb. And that's what I mean. I feel like there's, <clears throat> there's some type of loss here in this reading. Maybe they're walking away from somebody. But this is loss because of the slain lamb. And the, and the emperor takes control of his life. Your person could be ending something here. Maybe you're the one who takes control, but there is an ending attached to it. Yeah, that is, you know, part of that uh, loss mm -hmm, or ending. And part of this power here that is being taken in the authority. Here are the works underway. The two of cups is what you want. And, you know, he's going to talk to her. Yeah, and her, her palms are down. She's relaxed. She's kind of looking at him going, well, let's see what you have to say. She doesn't look like, you know, either way she kind of, uh, you can just tell by the eyes. And here he is, his head is cocked to the side <clears throat> and uh, he's approaching her and he's looking at her like, I wonder what, how she's going to respond. You can tell he's going to tell her something and he's the one who's walking to her. This is helping you too. This is like assisting you. So... This is going to help you that they come talk to you. Maybe you have wanted them to. Maybe they owe you an apology. But this is going to help. This could also be saying this is going to help you guys make up. Right? Definitely. Here's the Seven of Cups. And this is in the near future. This, this choice, I already believe it's been made. Because here's work underway in the past. But this is like, I wonder what's going to happen when I talk to Sagittarius. That's what it is. He's, uh, he has his fingers, like his hands over his eyes, like little kids do when they choose something or you tell your little friend, your little cousin, uh, you know, uh, close your eyes and open your mouth and you will get a big surprise or close your mouth. No, it's close. No, it's open your mouth and close your eyes and you will get a big surprise, right? Yeah, open your mouth. You know, when you're a kid, you're going to put something in your, your little cousin's mouth, kind of, right? Kind of silly stuff, but, <clears throat> you know, and it could be the other one, close your mouth. But it basically, your eyes, your eyes are the ones that have to be closed here. And, you know, when he opens his eyes, he's hoping he has his wish. Because here's the seven of cups, and the cups are empty. So this, the decision's been made, the choice. And I have to say it was most likely a very overwhelming one. And now we have with it the seven of pentacles. So these right here are, this person is determined here. They're determined to see what you have to say. And here they are scared to open their, to open their eyes or uncover their eyes. Sagittarius, what did you do here? Mm -hmm. <laughs> and the page of wands is your advice here. They are coming for that. That's how you're being affected. They're coming for a renewal and it's here twice. And I don't like the way he's hunched. Okay, he's kind of praying here at the cemetery. Yeah, he is. Wow. Yeah, he is. Whatever kind of... There's like a headstone here. Most likely here. This is a trip. But he's down... You know, he has his... Uh, he's on one knee. This is a renewal in a new direction. And this is in your, this is telling you that they're coming for that. Yeah. In your environment is the three of cups. This is a reconciliation. 
And this is how you affect them. They get joy from you, Sagittarius. There's joy here in this reading and they know it. Yeah, they know that this is, this is very natural to them. They figured it out. They know you're a soulmate. I feel like there's, there's joy between you both. And this is what they, this is why they feel like this is so natural, right? And it's good for them. And, uh, you know, it's good for, I just feel like this person has been so tense. Yeah. So tense in their life that, uh, as of lately, I don't know how long it's been going on, but they feel like I can feel in this reading that they're coming for like a liberation and, you know, like liberating the stress kind of, yeah. And the full card is your hopes and fears. Here you are. Actually, that was in the outcome. Yeah, I feel like it was. Here's the five of swords in your hopes and fears. You're hoping for a loss. You're fearing a loss. And four of swords. And here he is praying for a new beginning in the church. You're praying for this. You could be hoping, Sagittarius, that they will accept a loss in their life. Could be another relationship. Could be. But you really want this new beginning, right? Here's the butterflies fluttering into the church window. And in your outcome is the fool. So I believe this is going to happen for you. Yeah, wow. And this adventure. But I want to see all about this person, Sagittarius, because of this mind card. And the nature spirit card says get out in nature because uh, your health is starting to, like, you don't necessarily, you don't feel good. That's how it looks here. Let's look at these cards because in the extended, their first card is the talking stick. Uh, this could be a declaration, but it can be like a negotiation. Like, hey, I'm sorry for what I've done. Crossing them, Sagittarius, uh, this nature spirits card, <clears throat> let's see what their version is, but this supports them and it challenges them. And here's the beautiful, you know, the forest here. It's really beautiful. And, uh, somebody put some, you know, some stones here in the forest, like, you know, uh, on the walking path. Mm -hmm. Let's see what they say about the nature spirit card. And this is joy and delight. This is, this is what supports them. You see here in this nature spirits, it talks about joy and all the little stars are here and the sun shining. It's not like this nature spirits, right? But this shows how unhappy they are right now. And this shows what supports this, like why they're coming. It also challenges them here, this joy and delight. And I say that it challenges them because they have to accept some type of loss here. <clears throat> and that is unclear, but it will be showing up in the other reading for sure. Peaks of carefree abandon. Mm -hmm. Living wildly, magically, and free. Be open to the wonders of the universe flooding into your life. It's possible this person has to be free and independent <clears throat> and accept some type of loss, right? Or, But it, I feel like they have to be free and independent to be with you. And that's what challenged them here. And this talks about joy. This card really talks about them having the ability to be free, to enjoy you, to be with you and really enjoy you and, and be in union. This person loves you. They do. And why it's all happening for them is the answering the call. So they're answering the call of this psychic awakening right here. That's what the reading's about. We're going to end the reading. This will be a 10 card spread on them. And, uh, we're also going to see the 10 card, you know, Celtic cross all about them, their environment, their advice, you know, what they're concerned about, things like that. So, and of course, how they feel about you, Sagittarius, we're going to see everything about them. Yeah, we do. We, we have our little, uh, we have, uh, the electric shock therapy, uh, equipment here and, you know, we'll get it out of them, Sagittarius. We will here. We're going to use a talking stick though. All right. Is that okay? <laughs> we're going to end the reading. They're all super affordable, Sagittarius. I have the link below and, uh, in the description box. Thank you so much for joining me and please remember to like, share and subscribe.